We hope you've been enjoying this wonderful evening. But tonight is more than just a celebration. Through your kindness and generosity, it's about making a difference for moms and babies in our community and across the nation. The reality is not everyone gets the opportunity of a full-term pregnancy. Here is Julie Oliver, Tim Meese, and their son Drake sharing their family's journey and challenges. I had a few amazingly um, delightful weeks until um, our journey with prematurity started at week 16. As the husband and the father, you're going through all those emotions as well. When you give birth to a child and you know it's almost three months early and the room goes from a frantic flurry of activity to complete silence until you hear this really faint, faint gurgle in the room. You realize your baby's alive, but you know it's gonna be a very long journey. There is no Kodak moment, and the baby's whisked away, and as a father and a husband, your first thought is with your wife. Is she gonna be okay? Once we found out that she was gonna be okay, then your thoughts turn to, how's my baby boy doing? You have to wait what seems like excruciating hours before they finally allow you to scrub up, gown up, and actually enter what is NICU level three. And the first time that we saw him, you go in and it's almost like a surreal experience because you go and you see all these poor little babies struggling for their lives. And then you finally see your child. The first time we saw our son, which was quite a few hours after he was born, and you want so very much to reach out and touch your baby because you haven't held him yet. and. At the same time, you're very scared. You're scared to touch him. And you can't hold him right away, but you can, like, put your finger in the incubator and they squeeze it. And you just wish that you could transfer your life to theirs so they don't have to go through what they're going through. Trials and tribulations that parents of premature children go through is that you feel like in any given day you've accomplished something fantastic and then you realize that there are so many complications that surround it and you have to ride an emotional co roller coaster and the whole time you just want to be there for your child. We were first introduced to the March of Dimes when we were at the Women's Hospital and as a parent who has children in NICU, you have feeding times and you have downtime. During the downtime, the March of Dimes would give seminars. And it was a support group for parents like ourselves that taught us that we were not alone. The challenges didn't end upon checking out of the hospital. In many respects, that's where they began. And especially in the first year in the March of Dimes, was extremely uh, supportive and provided education and guidance uh, for Julie and myself to help our son get through some of these challenges that he faced. Our family today is filled with a happy, healthy 10-year-old little boy, Drake, and a little sister, she's eight years old, little Lily Bella and they're both happy and healthy. We are incredibly grateful for the March of Dimes and we have so many people to be grateful and thankful to. Your gift at any level will make a great difference in the fight for healthy babies. Thank, Thank you. you.